If you find yourself dating after 40 and you experience a range of emotions that go from silent disappointment to literally wanting to pull your hair out, you're not alone because dating in midlife has a specific set of challenges. And what I'm gonna do today is show you how you can use your age as an advantage and develop your greatest edge to attract the man and the relationship you want in a lot less time. If you're watching this, maybe you feel like the good old days, pre-internet, pre-dating apps, pre-swiping left and right and feeling like you're on a meat market consistently were better. <laughs> maybe you feel self-conscious because there's a feeling of the lover inside of you, but when you look at yourself in the mirror, it feels different than before and you maybe lack confidence to put yourself out there or think that you don't have what it takes anymore to be attractive to the kind of guy you want. Maybe you feel like time is flying by faster every single year and you can't stop it. And the feeling that you keep trying different things but nothing seems to be working is making you feel exhausted. Maybe you feel like you're almost done with the whole thing because you've been breadcrumbed, you've been ghosted, you've been ignored, uh, you've been lied to. But I'm here to say that if you're still in the game, if you're watching me right now, there's a part of you that knows inside that there's more out there for you than what you've experienced. And I'm gonna show you today seven actions that are completely within your control, that don't rely on anyone else showing up for you, that can get you to attract the guy you want much faster, regardless of not being a spring chicken, regardless of you feeling like maybe your best years have behind you. And to do it not in a place of desperately searching for someone, but from a place of wholehearted wholeness, where the journey is as important and as fruitful and as enjoyable as the destination. Step number one is stop the madness. And what I mean by that is you need to stop giving a about what other people, companies have tried to sell you your entire life, which is that beauty is one specific version and understand that your edge doesn't come from the tightness of your butt or the flawlessness of your skin, but from the radiance of your heart. And if you spend your time and energy instead of over-exercising or under-eating, going for beauty solutions that will never sustainably make you feel like you have what it takes, it's like the bucket with holes that will, can never be filled. If you focus your energy instead of how do you connect to that radiant heart and how do you express more, because you can't transfer that which you don't feel, but if you connect to sources of inspiration, if you make it a focus of your life to do things that fulfill you in such a way that there's a different version of you that emerges, there's a different eye-to-eye -eye connection, there's a different smile when you look into someone's eyes, then that version of you will exponentially have more choices and be able to decide who is the best fit for her instead of feeling like you're trying really hard but no guys are knocking on your door. Number two is use wisdom to your advantage. Here you are thinking that perhaps women who are younger will be more attractive to men. And for some men, that will be the case. But for some men who are also searching for depth, searching for meaning, searching for uniqueness, you need to play up your wisdom. You, my friend, know more about yourself than someone who's younger than you. You've lived more, you've suffered more. You have more scars, but you also have more wisdom. You understand what you love and what you hate. You understand what makes you tick, what makes you smile, what makes you cry. So you need to focus on what uniqueness in you has been not coming out to play. You need to focus on expressing more of those things into the world because you would rather have someone reject you for who you really are than miss out on you dismiss you, not connect with you because the biggest part of you is hidden inside. Number three, you need to commit to unwavering versus dazzling. I can't tell you how many women who have reached out to me when we get a chance to deeply decompress and talk about what's going on in their lives have missed out on so many opportunities of men who showed up in their life with a slightly different package than the one they imagined it would be. And by that, I th don't just mean physical appearance, but sometimes the level of energy and enthusiasm that they might be hoping for initially is not there, but it can grow. And when they dismiss those guys, because they feel like, I'm looking for better, I'm looking for stronger, and they don't give them a chance, they miss out on so many opportunities. I've had clients who, when we work together, give guys that would have never given a chance 
an actual opportunity and then figure out through time that there's so much depth and so much passion in that connection. I'm not asking you to connect with someone who feels boring indefinitely. I'm asking you to when you connect with someone who isn't the type of man that maybe you've gone for, that you give him a shot and you allow the flame to grow instead of feeling like it has to be right then and there from second number one. Before I go in through steps four through seven that can really change the game for you, I have a question. Do you really know the number one reason why you're still single? My guess is you know the symptoms but are not sure what the real reason you're still single is. And what I've done is I've created a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal the answer for you. All you have to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. You'll see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and in the next 60 seconds you'll have two things. Number one, the answer to the question why you're still single. Number two, a report that will show you the specific set of actions based on your blind spots that you can take today to shorten the time it's going to take for you to attract the man you want. Step number four is burn your freaking ships. What does that mean? That means that you right now may be connecting with a few open loops, meaning men who don't really do it for you, but validate you enough to where you lose your hunger and your edge to go out there and create the connection you want. Because if you arrive home on a Friday night and instead of feeling the punchiness of that loneliness, you connect with this dude who can't do it for you but is telling you how beautiful you are and is maybe you're better than nothing type of guy, you will remove the hunger to create what you want and even though it feels like a nice to have, it's actually such a negative equation for you to create with men who you're just wasting time with. Maybe it's an ex that keeps validating you. Maybe it's a guy that texts you every now and then and when you feel alone, you exchange pleasantries or you exchange something intense that's not gonna go anywhere. Maybe you have a friend with benefits right now who you feel intensely connected to but no, it's not going anywhere and you think that he's just adding some pleasure to your life but he's removing you from the hunger to get what you want. Number five is develop more options. It's really hard to find the guy you want if you're connecting with one or two new guys each month. If that's what you're doing, I'm sorry to say you're on the five to ten year plan right now. So what I need you to do is instead of relying so much on the algorithm tyrant that is your dating app, not saying don't use it, but don't rely on it. Go out, create connections, meet face to face. <laughs> A lot of women keep asking me the question, where do I meet this man? And the, that's the wrong question to ask. It's not where, it's who. Because when who, meaning you, is open and flirty and connected and alive and intensely connected to the truth of who you are and vulnerable, that you, regardless of where you go, can create connections, regardless of where you can attract attention, regardless of where you go, can make something happen. So stop focusing on what's the best place to go anywhere that's not your home. Watching Netflix is the place to go. Number six is get better at meeting men. Once you develop more options, once you start creating connections, you'll find lots of guys who will find your newfound exuberance and expressiveness and passion and aliveness incredibly attractive. So you'll have more options, but you'll have to fine tune who you connect with and who you spend energy with because if you connect with guys based on just the energy they bring and you connect with this guy who's super exciting but he doesn't want commitment and he's looking for something kind of fussy or maybe he's confused about what he wants but he makes you feel really good, you will waste years of your life. So getting better at vetting men means ask more questions and refuse to go on dates with men who are not going to the same destination you're going to or men who are unsure about what they want. Number seven, and this is so crucial, is guard your environment with your life. That means that your mental environment and your friendship environment needs to be closely guarded. If you're connecting with a group of women who feel like men suck and this is never gonna happen and are complaining about the situation and you're kind of commiserating about the thing, you're gonna stay stuck in this deep hole you're digging every single day. If that's the case, you need to either change the conversation and set a new standard for how you guys connect or remove yourself from that environment and connect with human beings who have what you want or who at least are going for it with a positive mindset, with a glass half full type of energy so that you have a shot of getting what you want. Getting what you want isn't easy but it's doable. Hope this is helpful and useful. If you found value in this video, it would mean a lot to me if you click like and subscribe. If you want to find more shortcuts to get the guy you want, watch this video right here.